<laughs> Alright, welcome back. This step is just like the 3x3 three three step. Um, you already know how to do this, you can just skip to the next part. But if you already know how to do this, I can give you some pointers too. What you need to look for, if you had memorized which ones are out on the opposite, since I saw me this, opposite is dark green, so you can memorize which ones are there. So you look for a piece that doesn't have it. See, this one has tan, and this is one of the pieces that's touching that. So you know you don't need that. So you can look for ones that um, are like that, that aren't the ones that are touching the dark green. This might be a bit to process. Or you could just look for two colors, blue, pink, and I see a blue pink here. So I move it above it like this. And then pink, um, since blue is facing me, that means if I were to turn it like this, that would make pink line up. So that means the piece has to go there. So just like a 3x3, three three, you do the 3x3 three three move, and you go like this. So you just put it in. It's you just gotta think of it like a three by three. That's pretty much all it is. And this one goes there. Uh, I'll try to just say some algorithms. Don't really know algorithms because I just did this on myself, so I don't really know algorithms for this. So I don't know what they're like called. So whatever. Um, up, right. Um, right, upright inverted, right inverted, upright inverted, front inverted, upright, front. That's pretty much it. And, and do it, you just reverse it. It's, it's pretty simple. You could probably figure it out by yourself. So you look for ones. Here's one. I know it's close there. You could also just look, you could be like, oh, there's a space there, I gotta look for that piece, it's gray and orange, look for there. You don't want, you don't want these ones, or these ones, or those, you gotta save those for later, you just gotta do the ones that are on the second page. So you go, yeah, this is, um, a lot, some of the stuff in here is, it's like a 3x3, three three. that's why you need to know how to solve a 3x3, three three. yeah, in order to do this. Yeah, that's so you just keep looking for ones. I see this one is blue and yellow, so I know that one would go there. And you just do the moves. If you do not know these moves, then you you should watch a three by three tutorial. But you probably do know these moves because it would not be very smart to try to solve Mega Minx before solving a 3x3. Three three. Anyways, I'll just keep saying what I'm doing. This is a step. Um, yeah. I'll just do the opposite. I'll show you guys the opposite algorithm. Alright, the opposite one is um, when the piece that needs to go there, this is in the left and this is in your upper left. So the algorithm is up, left, hold on, maybe if I did it like this, if I held it like that, alright, up, left, up inverted, left inverted. Oh, wait a minute. I think I said that wrong. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Okay. Up inverted, left inverted, up, left, up, front, up inverted, front inverted. So if you're holding it like, so it's like that, the point facing down. And these will be your left and right, and this will be your top, this will be your front, this will be um, your DL and your DR, and these will be, yeah, I don't think you need those, whatever. Up, 
Okay. Full car. Full car. Okay. Let's see. And now I have the second layer solved. So, to get the next part of the rescue, I mean Mega Minx, I'm sorry. Um, is you have, you get these pieces, this here. It's where, um, let's see, this is the green and these ones are touching it. It's the intersection there. It's like the lower intersection. See, this is higher than that. The lower ones. So it's that one, that one, that one, that one. Just those all around it. So, yeah, check that out on the uh, next one. Go to the next part, part three.